Kyle, have you seen any good Microsoft Clippy Rule 34 lately? Only that one that you sent me. I love the way he blushed. Yeah, it was quite good. Is Clippy so, a he or a she? I always thought it was a he. Could be whatever you want, baby. That's uh. Why are you fighting Hydralisks, first of all? <sighs> you mean Tyranids? Where do you think they came from? Fucking nothing original about a single thing Blizzard has released. <laughs> But listen, Kyle, we said before we began this, you couldn't spend far the first five minutes ranting about StarCraft. Oh yes, absolutely. That's what we agreed upon. <laughs> what is this game? StarCraft identifies any game genre it wants. <laughs> God damn it. Alright, so game? this is Dragon Age Inquisition <laughs> Multiplayer. They, um... It's a uh, four-player multiplayer, cooperative. You go through these series of dungeons. They're not randomly generated, but there's sort of like different areas of each level that they've mixed together. So, it's quite, you know, you're not going down the same path every time. There's a few different levels you can go down. We're in the Elysian Chateau. And, uh, yeah, I just unlocked this Reaver. Got him off a couple of levels in the start of this video, so let's, uh, let's jump in and slay some shit. That's pretty cool. Where's the uh, naked gay guy? I don't remember what his name is. Dorian is Dorian. usually not naked. And well, that's a shame. Fight. I thought this was a Bioware game. You've got to work to get his ass in the shot. Like, it's a Bioware game, you have to spend 20 hours going for the bottom left option of Flirt or whatever. Before you can see that shit. Well, I can't Bioware just let me live out my sexual fantasies without working for it. It's almost like real life. Make... You just want to pay uh, $60 for the last five minutes of a Bioware game. No, I just want Bioware to make a visual novel. With Dorian in it as the only character. Just Dorian. Dorian and uh, the Iron Bull. Why the fuck is there a bear in the chateau? So, good question. The disintegrated! That was so fucking metal! They added, hit a, it. Uh, they added a free expansion, or free DLC to the multiplayer, which basically added some new routes, I believe. But basically, the only reason you're there is because it added wildlife to the multiplayer maps. So you can be walking through this like fucking chateau and like a bear will jump out. A pack of wolves. There might be a giant. It's sick. That sounds really dumb, but really cool. Tell me, are there skeletons really cool. in the game? Um, Can you fight skeletons? I don't know. I want to say so, but... That's a fucking slugma right there. Hmm. That's a rage demon. That's a slugma. Know, it evolved into mag cargo at level 36, I think. I want to say you can fight skeletons, but that might be, that might be <sighs> in a few other games. I actually Every... don't know. You fight Every, some like, sick looking demons though, like the faces are halfway down their necks, there's like, you've got eight tits, it's insane. There's some really nice demons in this game. It's it demon souls. Yep. It's that hard. And you see I haven't lost any health yet. <laughs> this is actually on the easiest difficulty because they kind of, you know like Mass Effect was, bronze was easy, silver was normal or whatever. In this, it's a bit different. It's kind of like, you know, bronze is easy, but it's kind of aimed for like level ones to eight. And then by the time you get to level eight, you're like blasting through it. So then you go into the next level of difficulty, which is like eight through 16. Yeah. Like, it's more about like tiers rather than uh, straight up how good you are. That's cool. And there's obviously different rewards. All the gold and the uh, item drops are shared between the entire party. I was about to say, nice. I happen to notice that you're the only one going for loot. You're stealing it before all your friends. Yeah, it's uh, it's shared across all of them. It's because like so What's often it? people miss them. I'm like, why am I? I'm not playing this game to have fun. I'm playing it for the fucking gold. Why don't you Save like hanging out with Magnus 1985 and Compy? I have uh, I've enjoyed some of the matches. Like, um, I've rarely had people talk, but there's like you know Battlefield style, like tap up to you know tap the D-pad to give different commands and stuff. There's a bit of that. Yeah. In here. It's um. Good. I enjoy this mode. I think this is better than the bio uh, than the Mass Effect one, just by virtue if it sort of mixes it up and you're progressing through something. And it's yeah. this whole loot system, like I, th I think it's a lot better, and especially in terms of like character builds and stuff. Like to unlock this character, I bought. I didn't buy the character. I sort of like used the crafting system to unlock them, so I didn't yeah. have to keep buying, you know, you know, packs to like unlock them. It lets you buying... choose. You can work towards your people rather than just get them through luck. Buying. Characters in Mass Effect was so much fun when you got like a fucking Volus that could only roll. You know my feelings on this. I love the microtransactions in those games. I love microtransactions. Like, if they're in a game you like, then it's only a good thing. You damn millennial! Yeah, instant gratification over and over and over again. The only limiting factor is my bank account. 
I do not love the microtransactions in WWE Immortals, though. Like, they feel... Yeah, that's super dumb. They just feel... Like, it's not dumb, but, like, you make money so slowly, you're never not going to buy the bottom tier of cards, which will get you shit stuff. Yeah. And, like, to actually get... Ah, it's... It's weird. See, in one sense, you can buy a lot, but you can only buy shit. Like, you have to work for a long time to get the... Uh, to get anything with it. Yeah. But then when you get that Lumberjack Big Show, it's all worth it. I've got the other Big Show. I have the weird, like, Celtic Barbarian Big Show. Move over, you good. stars. It's the Big Show coming like, in. Uh, I don't like him. I've just started using Paige, though. She's pretty cool. She's cool no matter what she does. Oh. So there's these barriers. Uh, three types, because they're three classes. So, you know, rogues can lock pick. So you you kind of want to have a balanced team, not just. I mean, it's pretty hard this game, this multiplayer anyway. It's not hard at this stage, but there's fights you get into and you'll just wipe in no time. A lot faster than you did in Mass Effect. Yeah. But the other reason to have a ballot party is to open up these different bonus areas. Like we need a mage to dispel this barrier. So many people in the world. The mage comes over, dispels it, and then there'll be different loot. There might be enemies. There might be wildlife. Like. See, I'm used to wiping in like seconds in Mass Effect because I'm so bad at it. Yeah. This is um. You will wipe a lot faster in this game than Mass Effect. But then you get a support class and they can cast barriers, because there's no heal there's no regen health. You have to use potions. And you're limited to like two potions and then maybe like a healing mist or something. Incredible. Which so which uh, bar is your health? Is it the one on the bottom? Green one, yeah. The one on the right, the yellow the yellow circle is like your stamina, you know, to use the abilities. Right. This is a Reaver, so uh I haven't got a lot of the abilities because I'm only like a level 4 at this point, but if I hit a uh, right bumper, I think it is, then I will grab, like, I'll thrust my fist into them and suck their life energy out. That's it's a really, That uh, sounds pretty cool. Taking on a dragon with a Reaver in single player is the best, because, like, you're super powerful because that's, like, all your moves drain your health, but, you know, increase your damage, so you're killing this dragon super fast. And when your health gets low, you just, like, regen health by grabbing its flesh and consuming it. That's awesome. It's super cool. I can, I can see why you play this character now. I, this is in the multiplayer, like... Uh, but I, I just kind of wanted to play a different class because I've been playing as a necromancer beforehand. But, see, necromancers sound cool, but I've never played one in a game. They're not good in this. Well, I enjoy playing as them because they're all about... They're less about summoning things. You don't really summon anything with you. You just... Uh, it's like inflicting fear and stuff. Spirit damage. Yeah. That's kind of why it's disappointing, is you're not actually going to summon the skeletons out of the floor. Which is a, a bummer. I did that in Skyrim when I tried to play it. I tried to play Necromancer. I didn't get very far into it, but I just like some no. skeletons around and stuff. It was kind of cool. Yeah, that's always what I want. That's the problem with Skyrim, isn't it? It's like unless you just cheated and used the console, then you can never actually do something awesome from the beginning. You have to work at it for hours. No, it was a mod to uh, add like a oh, couple hundred new spells in. And some of them you were could, like summon. You could reanimate things. corpses, though, couldn't you? And summon skeletons. Yeah, but default. they didn't. They didn't last forever. They lasted for like no. 60 seconds. This was like yeah. permanent followers. I have a bad feeling. You could be like so. Nagash. Did I tell you what happened the first time I played Skyrim? Uh, no, go on. You probably have, I, but I don't remember. I went to Riverwoods the I just first fucking time. wiped. Wow, you're so bad at this game. Yep. I got hit by three times by that Revenant. Because my team's not there. Anyway, sorry, go on. Uh, yeah, I went into Riverwoods. Uh, went into the you know uh, the store. I can't remember what the store it was called. The one where you get the quest to get the golden claw. Oh, the weird like tavern thing. Yeah, and then I saw there was a spell called reanimate corpse or reanimate something. I was like, that sounds so fucking cool. And so I spent like so much time exploring all around Riverwood to earn the money to uh, you know buy this spell. Eventually got it. Never used it until I had to walk up to. Um, uh, the one hill the... with the monks on it? No, yeah, the town below it. I can't remember what it's called. Is it like Rorikstad? Sure. Maybe. But yeah, I that had to go to there. Nordish. I was over encumbered for so long that eventually I found a dead moose. I stuffed all of my <laughs> items inside it, reanimated <laughs> it, and then ran up the hill with it chasing after me. It died outside the store. I looted all my stuff back, and then I went and <laughs> sold it all. It was so cool. Was this on the uh, 360? This was on the 360, yeah. All right. I was going to say, I would have just cheated and used a teleport command if it had been on the PC. See, that? I wish more games were like that, where it's like, 
you have like tons of spells and abilities, and then how you use them is up to you. Like, ah, I that's never really cool, actually like as a, like a, a freeform kind of like thing that just happened to you. That's pretty cool. I never would have yeah. thought of that though, honestly. That that's I why I wish more you. of these games were like. Also, why are you like a green ghost? I'm in the fade. This is what happens if you wipe completely. You can be healed twice, and then if you die after that, then you go into this mode. I only died once, but they didn't get to me in time to heal me. So you can't really do anything. I think the idea is you can call out things to your party, but whatever they'll live. I survived, despite your incompetence. So this is a messenger, that dude who's chatting shit. He's one of the side objectives, they just appear randomly. Yeah. Like in Mass Effect, there's just a few different types that pop up in random, uh, random zones. So there we go, I'm back. With my sick fire sword axe thing. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Place the Inquisition banner. What's the Inquisition banner? So this is the final phase of a uh, of a match. Basically, you set down a banner, and the idea is you're meant to defend it. But of course, I don't know if this is a. It's not a bug, but they should probably like remove it. Maybe is that everybody just stands in the spawning zone? You know the area we came through before. Yeah. Because then the enemy can only come in one way, so it's much easier to manage. You can't be shot from random positions. So like yeah. I'm running out to place the banner down because you have to place it there. But now I'm gonna have to run back to all those uh, to my team members to hide in the way. Can they hide destroy the, the frame, banner, so. or is their goal no, just to kill you? No. It's just to like start this area because this is, like zone is really hard, and we're fighting this demon commander. And there's a few different yeah. factions. There's demons. There's red templars. There's a uh, venatori. Uh, Don't know what any of them are, but okay. The venatori are cool. They're like silver gladiators. And they're all slaves. Cool. The Red Templars are a bit shit. I don't really enjoy them, but... The demons, like, look at this thing, it's got, like, four arms. I actually bought the art book for Dragon Age. And it's... Uh, you never really see some of these character models up close, and they're pretty, pretty cool looking. That thing looks really cool. That was just a normal enemy. That wasn't the commander. I think the commander does something similar to that, though. Why... Why is Rey Mysterio's mask design on that... Banner to the left. Oh, I didn't catch it. We'll see if we can bring the camera back around. But... There's like a white banner on the wall, and it looks like Grey Mysterio's mask. It's kind of weird. I can't imagine the Orlesians are into professional wrestling. The big lucha. This is their commander. What are you doing? I'm getting attacked by scarabs. No, it's. Uh, I think it's. I don't know. Maybe something like fear or something. I think that's what it was. See, there it is. Grey Mysterio's mask. I missed it again. It's on the wall. There it is. See it? Oh, a uh, Templar sword. No. It's just a banner. That's Rey Mysterio's mask. Like a, a fire on a sword on fire. Your guy needs to stop dancing and help your team. It's because when he um, like that spider sword because of that horror demon there, which is the thing I'm killing now. Or maybe it's a fear demon, something like that. See this guy here, he'll zoom through the floor and then when he when he does that, he screams. It paralyzes you, but you can kind of like break it if you jump yeah. near the edge. It's uh this is only on the easier difficulty, but it's super cool when you get into some of the When you get with a team that doesn't want to hide and you're actually just running around trying to survive for ten minutes, it's great. Yeah. These waves can take ages. This one will but You're uh, playing on this on the Xbox One, aren't you? Yes. Have you heard anything about the Windows 10 events that's happening? Only that, like, Phil Spencer was like, Gamers like Windows. And that was like it. I haven't heard anything else other than what he said in that video. Because I feel, I think they're going to announce that the Xbox One is going to be using Windows 10 when that gets released. I don't know, who cares? It looks like shit now. Maybe it'll look better. <laughs> it's, a, it's an operating system. They're all the same, like... It would be nice if they got rid of some of the shit from Windows 8, I guess. Yeah. I, they need to do something with the Xbox. It's bad. Like, just trying to like invite people to a party and reliably play together is... Yeah. There's some well, weird glitch list with this. Not with the party stuff, necessarily. I haven't actually tried playing with anyone I know, but... More with just, like, a... Uh, you got like kind of glitch out on um, geometry and stuff. It's clearly the game's fault. But yeah, you just, you'll notice it, it might have happened in this video. Just like when I'll like walk too close to the side of a bench or something. 
jump back and stuff. It's weird. It's not something I encountered in the single player at all, but... Yeah. That thing looks like Slenderman without wearing the suits. More arms. I hate them. They're the, I really dislike fighting the demons. Because they just have like asshole abilities like this guy. And we haven't really got a tank because I'm, I'm a DPS uh, melee character. Got two... Um, I think we're all DPS actually. Yeah, it's cool. You should buy this game. I'd, I'd have to play the first. Two. You have you have the first one, and the expansion, and all the DLC. What are you waiting for? I don't have I don't have the hard drive space for it. Okay, dokie. Well, uh, there you go. Dragon Age Inquisition multiplayer. Ciao. Auf Wiedersehen.